So we have here uh, Paolini positive for cocaine, um, right? It, Cal, uh, Paolini, Luca Paolini, he uh, was riding in Tour de France this year, got busted for coke, a bit of Charlie, a bit of, a bit of gear. He got pinged for a tested positive for cocaine and uh, during the Tour de France 2015, denied it straight up, went on Twitter, said, I'm not, nah man, never touch the stuff. <laughs> like, one look at the guy, you know he's a bit of a Charlie digger. And that's fine, that's just, man, I've done it myself. So it's, you, you gotta deny it. I mean, all these people, I fucking laugh at those fucking idiots out there. So, do you know, you just a hater, like, Paolini's like a professional athlete, he would never take cocaine. Like, it's like, have you guys, have you, like, like, you guys are just fucking noobs, man. You never hanged out with any pro riders at parties, have you? Two down under after party, pretty fucking hectic. But hey, there's plenty of noobs out there who want to tell Duran Rider how it is. Alright? Never raced in Europe, those people. Never hanged out with any pros behind the scenes. Never nothing. Just fucking noobs who say Duran Rider's wrong. And now today, Pelony goes, actually, I did, I did get on the cocaine. Look, man, it's fucking Europe. It's professional sports. It's drugs, man. This is how it is. Of course people have to fucking deny it. Because if they told the fucking truth, all you fanboys out there would go, oh my god, and you could run to the next fucker who's gonna lie to your face about their drug usage, recreational or, or otherwise. So they have to lie to keep the fanboys buying product and keep the fanboys asking for autographs. It's just like Santa Claus, all right? Sorry if Duran Rider offends you with the truth. Sorry if Duran Rider destroys your illusions with my truth bombs. I'm sorry about that, but that's just how it is. Santa Claus doesn't exist. It's just marketing bullshit. The natural athlete at the top doesn't exist. It's just marketing bullshit. Santa's designed to keep little kids behaving well and being good so they might get a gift from Santa. All right? Professional sports at the top, not just at every level, at the top. Like, you can be a pro athlete and be pretty natty. Very natty. Natural. Naturale. But if you want to be a big fucking hitter, winning World Cup soccer matches off the front, etc., then there's things you can take from your team doctor that are gonna let you help you, assure you, you're gonna increase your odds. Because if you've got two athletes of similar talent, let's say you've got two twin brothers, two twin sisters, similar talent, similar desires, whoever's on the gear, next level. If you wanna go next level, you gotta go next level. Gotta get a good team doctor. That's just how it is, man. So all those fanboys who said I was wrong about Paolini, where are you now? Where are you now? And I forgot, so I forgot to add there, my message to Paolini or anyone with sleeping tablet addictions, here's the thing, man, is like when you fucking take stims, you can't sleep properly, so then you need sleeping tablets. So you're like a dog chasing its fucking tail. You're like a fox chasing its tail. The solution is get rid of both, and then you're good to go, especially the stims. Get rid of the stims, and all of a sudden you're just like, Phew. You'll get in touch with your natural fatigue levels and you won't need downers to go down and then uppers to get up in the morning. It, you know what I mean? Doctors give these fucking stimulants like modafinil, uh, methylphenidate, dexamphetamine, etc. And then they're like, oh, you can't sleep at night. Shit, we'll give you some more pills. That's how they make fucking money off you. So they give you something to get up and then they give you something to get down. How about you just go to get up and go and get down? You just be natural, normal and go with the daily cycles where it's daytime you're up when it's night time you're down. Let nature take care of it. So the, my tip to Paolini, anyone, just no sleeping pills, no stims, no coffee. Just get in touch with your natural fatigue levels and after just a week, just one week, it'll just start, things will start clicking. I mean, I've done stims, I've done sleeping pills. Actually, I haven't done sleeping pills, sorry. I've had friends who've done sleeping pills and then they wake up in the morning and they're like, on the coffees and shit. But when I used to use stims, when I've ever used stims, it was like 6 a.m. only, unless you went to a 24 hour race or something like that. And I've done stimulants only in one 24 hour race and it was just so easy. I was like, this is just too easy. I don't have to sleep. I can just pop pills and keep going all night. It, was, it wasn't a challenge for me. So 99% of my 24 hour races with no stims, no caffeine whatsoever, it's a lot harder. Obviously my performance weren't as good, but for me it's more of a challenge. Because I mean, anyone can pop some pingers and start up all night and ride a bike. It's fucking easy, man. I mean, I can pop some pingers, I can do every fucking every single day. It's not hard, but when you're trying to do it natty, it's more of an emotional challenge for me. So my tip for anyone addicted to stims or sleeping tabs, man, is just get rid of both. Just boom, done. Fucking done, man. Easy. Treat the cause, not the symptom. You're fatigued 
during the day because you're on the steeping pills. You can't sleep at night because you're on the stems. So if you get rid of both of them, you're good to fucking go. Easy, man. Okay. Aye, aye. Weer een oponthoud. Dat is Paulini die daar even niet meer wist waar het noorden of het zuiden lag. En uh, die moet dan weer zijn uh, ketting op uh, gang brengen. En dan even zien ja, dat het toch niet helemaal gesmeerd loopt. Oei, 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 oei. Dat is die hypernervositeit die bij zo'n topwedstrijd hoort. Hè.